My name is Indran Amitanayagam. My poem is called Florence. Indran Amirathanayagam is a poet and U.S. diplomat who has lived in many countries. He writes, translates, and publishes poetry and essays in English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Haitian Creole. This poem, Florence, is in memoriam of his godmother. Florence. I remember banana leaves, trees full of them, in a back garden in Negambo. I remember shuttlecocks and badminton. Aruna and I would play with Shemi and Nimi. I remember Joe Mama, my gentle godfather, who by divine luck and hand married my most gentle godmother, who has left us today, bereft, sad to the root of the soul, but unbowed, knowing that Soundri Mami has joined her husband again beyond the pearls, gates, and politics of this brief space. It's poetry as well, which she composed with an ear for meter and rhyme about grandchildren, the gardens she grew, a fine mind, able, limber, until the last moment, my regret interrupting her sleep in our particular final exchange. A few words, rest well, good night. How to say good night? I remember banana leaves wrapping Samba Rice, Brinjols, Paul Sambol, Coriopolis, Pittsburgh, 1979, my second Christmas away from home in Hawaii. Too far to return there from college, so I took the bus instead to feast on lampreys my godmother made, far from Ceylon, but with the taste right and to learn in passing about such American matters as stealers and children of coal mines. Although not far away stood the nuclear plant that melted that year, causing planetary fear of extinction, but we survived, and we will survive this ending, which Soundry would not want us to feel, hoping instead for the good Lord's return. America today turning the corner, stepping ahead, and you leaving us after giving one more vote for the generous and kind, for caregivers of children and the neighborhood's children, for careful plucking of dead leaves so the flower will bloom. It blooms in my heart in these words, so aptly named you were at birth, your first Florence for blossom, flower, flourish, you are in my blood, always have been. In these words, in hearts and minds and memories of these who knew you and those who will now know that on earth walked a good woman, a gardener, and she tended her plants with much love, and the plants loved her back and are blooming now everywhere. Well, I'm in a center of power, right? But the center did not hold. Uh, I'm in a city becoming greener, more artistic. It seems more galleries, more reading series, more theater. At least that's how it seemed before the pandemic. And But then the pandemic hit, and I'm not sure yet what has survived, what will come back, but I'm hopeful. You know, there are creative spirits working throughout the city and in the region, and we will find our places to express ourselves. And when I say the center cannot hold or did not hold, I mean there are many centers, you know, of arts in, in, in the world, and this is one of them. You know, my parents uh, moved here from Hawaii, my father first, and then he found uh, uh, the house on Mercury Drive, and then my mother and um, joined him, and my brother joined him afterwards. By that time, I was living in New York City, and. Uh, and you know, I, and I had already my godmother, the subject of my poem, living in the, in the area, and and so there was a little bit of a family set up, a community here. And then, so in the late 80s, uh, we moved. So I've been coming to the area since then. But more recently, I returned in October 2017 for my last foreign 
service assignment where I served as public affairs officer and uh, uh, director in, in Port-au-Prince in Haiti. And I've returned to stay. And, and uh, why, why do you stay? Well, I mean, I stay because I'm, I'm growing here like a tree now. I mean, I'm adding activities, poems. I, I'm editing the Beltway Poetry Quarterly, which is a, a poetry journal that's been publishing in the area since January 2000. I took over as its editor in 2018. I'm running something called the Poetry Channel on YouTube, where I publish poems poetry videos from poets around the world. So that's fun, uh, keeps me engaged, not only with the, re the neighborhood and with the, the city and the region, but also with the world. And, and I need that because I'm both off here and, uh, and elsewhere, you know? So, but uh, I like the multiple languages and cultures and people's migrants here. It's a, it's a city that's, like many cities where there are many migrants, it's, it's thriving for me. It's, it's creative, it's fertile. Well, it's, it's, it's my bet against solitude, against loneliness, you know. I, you write from solitude and you create community with what you write, you know. You make a bridge to the reader, to the listener, and you don't feel alone anymore. Uh, and so it's, it's a wonderfully community, it is a wonderful community, a sort of endorphins that come from, from writing. The, the act is solitary, yes, and it can be frustrating if, if the words don't come just right. But, but um, it's it, it's such a it's just like yoga or or walking every day or it's something that's good for you. It uh, it uh, gets rid of negative energies. It uh, it heals and it calms, and uh, and it's uh, it's it's a drug, but it's very a very pleasant drug like air breathing air or, or drinking water, yeah. So I, I love being a writer. I love the community result, most of all, you know, that I, the poem is shared, that there is a reader or there's a listener, and that I, we can become part of the, sort of the party of the word, you know, a kind of, um, yeah, a party, a fiesta, you know, a, um, a gathering around the word, and in that sense, it's a bit like a prayer service or a, or a prayer or a, or a mass, but it's a, a lake mass, right? It's a, it's a, it doesn't require necessarily the intervention of God. I've always known her as Saundri Mami, Saundri Mami, my godmother, my father's sister, very close to her because of an, 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 the relationship of godmother in, in a Catholic family, but also she was very much like my father, and she was as smart and as interested in, in the world and what was going on in every part of it. And at the same time, she was very generous, and my father was too. And that generosity, you know, so many people uh, were touched by her, her kindness. She was very uh, patient. She had all the values that I, 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 I uh, aspired to, you know, patience, kindness, open-heartedness. She was a caregiver to children, to neighborhood children. She, so, and and uh, she loved gardening. <laughs> so when I realized that her first name, Florence, which of course is rooted in flower and, and flourishing, uh, it seemed like a natural lead off to write a poem. And it's a natural thing for me to write a poem for her. I mean, I wrote a poem for her, her forgetting now whether I think her 90th birthday she lived a long life and uh, and now she is gone but 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 uh, she remains in us she, you know which is what the, the wonder of of uh, of good uh, energies you know they they don't disappear and the poem is a way of of channeling that energy and of, uh, reviving it uh, and I hope it it speaks to to a to any any reader or listener who, who, of course, goes through the same losses and the same uh, gains, you know, when through relationships, and the passing on of people you're close to. Well, you know, I, I told, spoke earlier about writing as an act of, against solitude, against depression, really. Um, the pandemic was tough, especially at the beginning, because 
I was in a close relationship that ended and the pandemic had a sort of role to play in that, I think. But also, but then poetry came in to the rescue and editing came to the rescue as, as it always does. And and the pandemic has clarified matters. I think it's made me more patient like my godmother. It's made me walk a little slower, though I write a lot and edit a lot and I'm very engaged with people around the world. I, I, I guess the pandemic has led me to separate what's important, uh, what I consider important and clarified what is vital. And for me, I think my role in, on, the, on the earth is to write and to share poems and, and to be engaged in this particular subset of creativity, which is poetry and its, and its spreading. And uh, so that's what I do, and I'll, I'm doing it with a renewed purpose. And this poem is part of that, and this and emergent seed is part of that. And, and so I'm very grateful for this opportunity to spread um, the good word, you know, um, and through this, through this poem. Thank you.